downtown Vine Grove. Vine Grove is a charming city located in northern Hardin County. In the early 1800s, settlers named Vine Grove for the wild grapevines that grew in the area. With a population close to 6,000, we're a close-knit community, which is known for hosting annual events like the Autumn Days and the Bluegrass Festival. Vine Grove's historic downtown is lined with century-old buildings that provide unique character and a sense of heritage. It has served past generations and continues to provide a home, a community bank, barbershop, dentist office, tea room, and a few other businesses. Downtown Vine Grove is an important place in our history. This place behind me is on one of Vine Grove's most special places in history, Lincoln Trail. On this trail on February 23rd, 1861, Abraham Lincoln makes it and his and goes on a journey from Springfield, Illinois to Washington, D.C. Also, the original of the trail stretched back to 1915 when the Illinois General Assembly requested the Illinois State Historical Library to mark the routes that Lincoln had traveled in 1963. Lincoln placed 3,000 markers before he got to the Kentucky. That was the history of the Lincoln Trail. This building behind me is the Sater Hotel. It was purchased in 1890 from Doc Smith, a local brick and lumber yard owner. The hotel was in operation from 1890 to 1930. It was a favorite stopping place for traveling salesmen who came through the community by train. After the hotel closed in 1930, the homes changed ownership several times and currently is a private residence. While the historical look has changed throughout the years, it still remains standing upon a slight hill beside the railroad tracks on Main Street. Behind me is St. Bridget Catholic Church. The church was dedicated to the invocation of St. Bridget of Ireland on May 21st, 1908. St. Bridget is the ninth Catholic church established in Hardin County. The church held their first baptism on March 31st, 1908. Presently, more than 900 parishioners attend Mass here. This bell is one of the original bells. Vine Grove residents far and wide can hear the bell at St. Bridget ringing. This place is an important part of the Vine Grove's community. This place is now called Optimus Park. Rachel Ritchie had the idea to make a playground at nine years old. When she was in third grade, Rachel Ritchie took her dream of equal play for everyone and after five years turned it into reality. Now nearly two years later, a new product to further fun for everyone is in her sights. Richie is interested in installing a splash pad at Optimus Park. Richie said it's an idea she has been considering for a while. When her project was improved, Richie jumped on doing it right away. This was all about Optimus Park. Also, the Vine Grove Bluegrass Festival is held at Optimus Park. This is a festival that hosts bluegrass musicians from across the nation. The place behind me is one of Vine Grove's most beautiful places at Otter Creek. One part of Otter Creek history is that during the French and Indian War, Otter Creek became frequently used as the war road. At least 10 to 11,000 years old, indigenous people settled near that area at that time. Otter Creek is owned by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. River otters also live in Otter Creek. Sometimes kids play in Otter Creek other times, people fish in Otter Creek. Many families relax and enjoy the sounds and coolness that the fresh water of Otter Creek brings to Vine Grove. This is the Vine Grove Airport, an important part of the community. This airport was built in the early 1970s and is still in operation today. This airport is for smaller planes like you see here. If you are visiting Van Grove, you might see old time planes flying in the sky. Joining me now is Charlie Morris. What is your role here at the airport? Here at the airport, I'm the flight instructor and I offer training in this airplane right here. We offer training for private pilot's license and tailwheel endorsements. How busy is this airport? On good weather days, we have anywhere from five to 10 flights a day coming in and out of the airport. Are there any requirements in flight training? There are, so you have to be at least 16 years of age to be able to solo an airplane, a single engine airplane like this one, and we can start training a little bit before that so that you could solo on your 16th birthday if you wanted. Who owns all these planes? A lot of people have their own private airplane that they hangar here, and we just help facilitate them, and my dad does the maintenance on them. Another thing that we offer here at Vine Grove Airport is we have a local EAA chapter that 
does Young Eagles rides, and that's kids from anywhere 8 to 17 years old, and it's a free airplane ride for them to get an introductory flight to see what flying is all about. Thank you, Mr. Morris, and we hope to see you flying this in the skies of Vine Grove. Thank you, and wave at us. We may be able to wave back if we see you. Vine Grove is a great place to be. We're here at the downtown Vine Grove Railroad tracks. The railroad was also referred to as one of the beauties of modern architecture in the Elizabethtown News. But not everything was great about this railroad. There were actually numerous train wrecks, most involving spreading rails. But the railroad also provided many benefits to the local men in the cattle business. The livestock would then be loaded onto a freight train and the sale was complete. Vine Grove Railroad was also once a major turkey transporter. It was estimated one Thanksgiving that 20,000 pounds of turkey made its way through the Vine Grove Railroad. In summary, the Vine Grove Railroad was a crucial part of Vine Grove's history. And thank you for coming and learning about our hometown.